So, this is the original 1982 Mr. Do by Universal. As you can see, it is uh, an original Mr. Do. Uh, now, I think there is only about 47 of these made. I could be wrong, but that's what I read on an internet site. Uh, I know that there was 30,000 conversion kits made, but I don't know about original uh, Mr. Do machines. But you can see it is all original with all the original stickers and everything. Okay, I'd like to do a quick uh, tutorial of um, Mr. Do, the arcade game. Now, I just purchased this today. I took off the, the front glass uh, part right now just to clean it up a little bit. Um, but it does have a glass casing that goes on top. Um, now, as you can see in the video, this line right here, um, that line is not actually on the game itself. Um, I'm not, I'm, the only way that I'm seeing that line right there that kind of moves this way is because I'm looking in the video camera. It's not actually on the game itself. So it must be some kind of weird, um, glitchy thing, uh, when the video camera shoots, um, the arcade machine. Now there is some discolorization in this area, and that is actually, um, unfortunately part of the, the arcade game. Um, now I can fix it with this like little magnetic wand thing, which I'll probably end up uh, purchasing and fixing up. But uh, anyway, let's go through the game and um, the reason why it's better than Dig Dug. <laughs> um, it's very similar to Dig Dug actually. Um, basically you have apples and you drop them on, on the enemies' heads and you also have these balls that you can throw at the enemies, which is kind of cool. Uh, now, I probably won't get very far because I'm doing um, a tutorial and I'm not really um, I'm not really here to play it. I'm just here to show you. So anyway, this was uh, put out by Universal in 1982. And uh, let's put a quarter in here. Okay. And this is a, a cabinet that's actually, it's a two-player cabinet. So there's, there's joysticks on the other side. And when the other person's turn comes up, then the screen does flip around for the other person to play. So, let's play. Now, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of quarters that are stuck in the screen. And I don't have the key for it, so I can't get them out right now. Uh, but once I pick the lock or get a key for it, then I can take those quarters out. Because the only thing it's doing, though, is it's just blocking the... How many, um, how many extra guys I have or whatever. So it's not really a nuisance, but... Alright, so I just got the pie. It makes my enemies stand still, but it comes out with new enemies. These little goblin guys. But this game is really, really, really entertaining. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. The controls are a little bit difficult because this is an original uh, 1982 cabinet. So, uh, when I wanted to move there, it kind of, I don't know, it's a little difficult. It's just, uh, if you can see down here, it's a little left and right mover. It goes up, down, left, right, just your standard joystick. And then one button over there, just throw the, um, the apples. So, I'm trying to play this and show you at the same time. <clears throat> now I get my apples back after a while. You can see I just threw it, and I'm I'm empty-handed. Now I've got my uh, apple back. I can throw it at my guys and kill the enemies. So anyway, level three, and as you can see, like again, I told you that line that's in there, and it's not actually on the in the cabinet. It's just part of the the video, I guess. When my video camera um, shows this, I'm not running the highest pixelation on my camera. My camera does have 1080p. I excuse, me, yeah, 1080p, but it's only 30 frames per second. So I'm shooting at uh, 720 because I've got my 60 frames per second. I figured it'd be a little bit better to show the game that way. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Anyway, you can see every level, there's uh, whatever level you're on, like this is level 3, I didn't know if you saw in the beginning, it actually shows a 3, or a 2, or a 1, or whatever level you're on. 
Now, you have to watch out because those apples will actually kill you, too. You can drop them on your enemies, but you can actually die as a result of it. Well, I guess I really sucked that time. So, <laughs> anyway. And there's a little spot to put your high score. I got ninth. <laughs> Not very good here. So, anyway. To put your name in, you just have to move the joystick up and down, and there you go. As you can see here, how to play, um, little instruction thing. Now, there's a lot of space, empty space here, and I, I really wish that they would have um, made up this cabinet to make it look a little bit better, but then again, you know, this is 1982. But I guess Miss Pac-Man, you know, had a nice little um, cabinet set up. What I like about Mr. Do is there's multiple ways of winning the level. You can either kill all the guys, you can collect all of the cherries, or you can kill all of the alpha monsters that spell extra and you get an extra Mr. Do. Or you can also find the hidden diamond, which is kind of rare, and that allows you to get an extra credit. So I'll show you how to do all of those. Now this is just a third level cutscene similar to Pac-Man. Alright, so this is what happens when you get an extra Mr. Do. This thing comes out, and again this line is not actually in the, on the arcade, it's just for some reason my camera is picking that up. You don't, you don't get diamonds often, and it's because, you know, it's a free game. <laughs> so they want to probably uh, make you pay as many quarters as possible to play this game instead of giving out freebies, but they do happen. Okay, extra diamond cutscene. That's Mr. Do. I put the glass back on here too. So, as you can see, it is scratched up a little bit, but it's really not in that bad of condition, to tell you the truth, for a 1982 um, game. Anyway, hope you liked the video, and I'm signing off.